Grammy City listen to now Good Morning Salon where they come to you from 98.1 FM. Well, we come back to Omar Napoleon Koroma, the Secretary General for the Salon People's Party. SLPP are there this morning, they talk about waiting come out now the National Executive Council meeting where happened over the weekend. Well, before we take that short commercial break, we will be listening to an interview from um, the person where they contest for being mayor under the Salon People's Party. As said, people who say over the weekend we see a video from Komosa Ibingo Pre, and one of the most them and be make statements them we majority people are the public not being you know been go down well with them. And we just want to in response we make inside that interview with Michael Sambula. As from in response, he say you no know, they make apologies because him believes say he talk within the inside in heart. How the SLP make um take the statements them we gen to make another video there. Um, thank you very much. To start with, well, I must say, Gento is a very fine gentleman. He's a devout Muslim, I know, married to a Christian woman. So, like I said in the interview, my man a pastor, so which means he respects both religion. And we've been very, very more religious, tolerant in this country all your life. No, I said, I'm a Muslim, I'm fasting. Before we born me, I just want a devout Catholic. So, you know, <laughs> so my man a Muslim, I grew up in Ecuador. So, there is no way who will go for, find a way for, say, we really divide into religion and day. But normally in these days, particularly where the political temperature they up, everything with the commander, everybody more, particularly with the politician there, people will tend for understand her in different, different perspective. Like he said, he's coming from a business background. If they come, if maybe even if the, the contest for me or business not to be on political basis, the gentleman would have come up as a person for stand. It's just that the singer for the other political party and decides the SAPP is the best vehicle for use for come up and who appreciate and very, very much. But in the case he's speaking, he spoke from his heart, he not be intend for create any or make any statement we could be of any embarrassment to anybody, not the Muslim community, not the Christian community. But with the politician they would own put them in the way we want for put them. So for that, whosoever feel offended by the statement we make, we tend to make on that day, they're not Muslim or Christian. As a party, we Tell them, say, it was not intended or not to Danny be mean with it and they try for interpreter. That's not what it meant, and it would never mean that. I would say sorry to the one and they, if they feel that way. They, but Mr. Gento spoke from the heart, and like I say, we try to make a case, you know, in your, in, your, in your explanation. But coming from that, then we see the responses of people at the beginning. I see the APC party put press statement. I was like, what? This is laughable, or even slight. Almost how many comments they put on made this country? We far more terrible and dangerous than we never make. I want to ask like yesterday, if there be big statement with Samura Kamara go to Nam saying they get work in this country if you know to call on men, you know, come on a Kylo in some places there. Did anybody ever make a statement on that? Did anybody ever talk about that? And now today, based on that statement we make, I already read a fake post from somebody who is an APC supporter. They say when we know if there Samura Kamara win. This country I will tight for Una there South Eastern as there. Come on. So we have to be we have to be very much, you know, we have to be fair. Yeah? If they don't pull a statement, say, okay, I agree. They say it's not religion. And the rhetoric then, me to me, at this stage, I will have to stop the rhetoric. Enough is enough for Baba Dentinini. Let's concentrate on the issue. But when you say anything, even a statement, you know, take time, even the year with the break, people that will try for interpret them differently. Yes, I just what happened at the airport. They are all over social media. They say, Salo, the airport don't collapse. Come on, is this a country? What is, where is the patriotism? But Mr. Gentle Kamara said to his Muslim people, and he be the talk like masjid, who said he pray in the holy month of Ramadan, he don't intend any harm, he don't be for divide any country, he don't need for put down the way we don't escalate to the point say he's bringing religious I don't see all over the statement they go. So he spoke from his heart, and uh, as a Christian, as a Muslim, we in Maman a pastor, a wife like Christian, there is no way you go hate Christians, it's not possible. But if people then feel, Say, waiting then they don't take out of context. We will say the one that were Muslim brothers and the Muslim community. This is the holy month of Ramadan. We we'll understand as a Muslim, if we feel offended, we we'll not forgive them for that and they allow move forward. But it never meant any harm. It never meant for create any friction at this country. Yeah. I don't apologize on behalf of on behalf of the party for the statements them we gentle make, but in, as an individual we make in statements them say you know they apologize. What I said, he didn't say anything wrong. And in new, so why new you voice at the camp. He didn't say anything wrong. I'm talking about the general perception, the way they interpret his statement. The way people interpret his statement. And as a political party, we were president of the Republic of Sierra Leone. He's a Christian. And the first lady is a Muslim. We then two people there. The vice president is a Muslim. We then two people don't live and coexist heavenly. And they try for propel them for let me make like say that religious friction one for bring in this country. It's what I'm saying. 
for that perception. It's not about waiting into a waiting. He say, and what he says, I mean, he's saying that he spoke from his heart and he was stating exactly waiting the commandment I had, waiting to happen exactly. He was not preaching any religious division. And he would never do that because he is a Christian. He's married to a Muslim woman and he's more born and a pastor. Right. Well, back to the issue we did have for we now the next meeting on just come out. We see you be don't outline the people that we get different role there for play um now the elections where they come. But one name <clears throat> we um really don't they play now the Salon People's Party, now the Ali Kaba twenty eighteen be um now they'll be the forefront in the affairs of running the affairs of that election day. What did happen to Ali Kaba? Dr. Ali Kabadi, around, you see around, he follow on social media, he's part of the process, he's mobilizing, a mobilizer, a social mobilizer. He believes in the new direction, he believes in President Julius Madabu in leadership, he believes President Julius Madabu, the lady foundation for the of this country, he should be given a second term for go, and because of that, he's been moving right around the country, talking to people, Talking to people about what in Julius Madabio don't do, what did this government don't achieve, and mobilizing them for make sure say Julius Madabio get a win with no runoff come June 23. But you don't get any major role for player apart from that. He's part of the process. All right. You are going to see him very, very much active in the process. All right. Um, you'll be earlier we start for talk. Talk briefly on the manifesto, people are waiting for Didi. Will they see a new manifesto from the Salon People's Party on the same one, bread and butter will they go with? Definitely, we we got we got for we got for see a new manifesto. Like I say, one of the people um, with the chairman of the committee, they do a new manifesto, and that new manifesto they in line with President vision of human capital development. We be the under three cluster of education, agriculture, and health. We now all on see we now living testimony. I believe see this is a holy month of Ramadan. Kafri says we no go deny what the president build on do inside in terms of education. So we president don't say come the second time. He's going to pay attention to agriculture. We'll be listening to a game changer. When I sit back and wait, President Butte will the win and we we'll see the changes and we we'll see what he will do in the field of agriculture. But that will have to be presented to the people of this country. The consultations are going on, the discussions are going on, and the writing as well is going on. When we are ready for that, 98 points will be invited for make a step for, for witness. Them. How that's going to go for different from the current manifesto where presidents be in governments they work under when are the new direction. How this one will become different from them? It's just bringing um, some of the issues them. We, the part of women, we will be at the forefront. Like I say, agriculture will be the key focus in, the, in expanding on it. But every two don't promise under that manifesto today, in a different, different areas, different, different cluster there, we don't make attempt for, for Duam to a certain level. Some will not completely achieve them. We don't even go to things that we know inside the manifesto, we don't undertake. And certain other things that the president will be promised at the manifesto. But as you look at the governance architecture, as you look at, say, this is what my country needs. This is what we need for as a foundation for put this country on the proper tracking. Where the issues that they come up, and they try to make sure she will respond to the one they need and will implement as well. So the one that we don't start for implement already, we'll continue with that and we'll expand on it in a new manifesto for sure. See, this is the way for ladies country for move forward when when going beyond twenty twenty three. Because I ask how we go different from this current one because um if you listen to different statements and we presidents be done they make, it don't complete all what's been promised now in manifesto and even don't do more. So now that's make our know waiting at the difference we get for day from this one where presidents say don't complete and a new one where they come. That's what I'm saying. They the ongoing governance now a process. Yeah? The things and the we, we don't we don't implement under the new manifesto. What we outline, when we can we say we did make sure see, we change the story yeah, from this point to this point. We've started it. And the process, you know, they start everything, they end today. Education longer for end today because you don't pick it up, graduate from university. Other people pick it and they come up. <laughs> Other people pick it and they born every day. They have to continue going to school. So that process they get for continue. So it's about seeing the expansion and how you get for continue for provide for that particular area. The, the health sector, not get for end today. You got for continue with the process. So we got for expand on that in the new manifesto for sure. Agriculture we don't talk about. We get for give a very clear outline how we intend for achieve them, how we intend for go about them. So like I say, it's just um it's just the same process going on in terms of the human capital development. We are the foundation stone for the development of any nation in the world. No nation you develop if you don't lead them foundation any. For over 
since independence, we'll be having trial and error. We'll try this quick, 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 come on, try this. So President Bielan said, I get a very clear vision. Say, if I educate this nation, I'll have the human resource enough that this country, for develop this country, or even for export and beyond this point here. If I make sure that these people, the people of this country are healthy, they'll be in a position for move forward. Then if we get agriculture, we are able for food to sell. We are able for get enough for export to get foreign exchange. We will move from. So he has a vision. He's very, very clear about that day and he's very, very much firm about that one day. And that's what we are going to expand and that's what we are going to push forward in a new manifesto. All right. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue. We still get Omar and Napoleon Koroma from the Salon People's Party inside the studio this morning as they talk about waiting and waiting come out now the National Executive Council meeting will be over the weekend. Over to you again, um, Omar and Napoleon Koroma. This um, particular team on Adongo set up for spearheading campaign with support from other national executive members. Then, waiting at the value where they bring come in terms of shaping the different message them we go for the commons, especially this campaign moment. We neck be done declare the campaign dates them we wanna already know going to the campaigns. How this particular team going to show to ship or that the talk and waiting in the talk now the different campaign guardians them we wanna go for the gates. We got the public relations committee we don't set up. It's a committee, and everybody within that committee, they na people who don't the uh, public space in terms of communication for a very long time, and um, they get for shape the message. We have a very clear message. We have a very serious message, and we get a message for telling people of this country and that message they will detail to them. We are not going to concentrate on the rhetoric with the main opposition, the All People's Congress Party, for bring up. We are going to concentrate on the issues, issues that we believe say. Get forward with the future of this country. You should go for believe, say, come going forward from now, we will say, indeed, we met Israelian as this today. This is a different Israelian we have. Those are the issues we are going to concentrate on, and that message did go well. We are in Cambia over the weekend. We're in Cambia, and uh, a woman, a former councillor, apparently, maybe an office, even get the high level education. But he make a statement we I believe, say, every meaningful Israelian for understand that. He told President Bill that President Bill. We, as far as we're concerned, you don't do things for everybody in this country. It's because would I educate you picking? They don't do everything for you. So you possibly make you picking land. They don't give you everything we need at this world here. And that's what President Bill has been saying to the people. That I came in as president, I promise now, and I have delivered to now. Why? Because I'm educating your kids today. Those are the kids tomorrow that are going to come back to those villages and build the houses. Those are the kids that will take you to... Mecca, the Hajjaden, for Tonde. Those are the kids that will take you for medical abroad and everything, just as I am today. And I even tell some people, I wish I was, I'd be born, I'd be, I'd, now, now they born me, or president, because my president when I be the go school. My poor mother with eight kids, we were able to maintain three of you in our school because of school fees. All of us would have been educated today. Well, thank God, I'm here today, and she's okay. So that's what is important for us, and that's the message you are giving to the people of this country for them to understand. Are very important in anything we do, do. and we want to go to Cambia, like you say, when I don't get a team, public relations team. But the Salon People's Party also gets a structure where when I get a team, also where the publicity sector itself get mandates for you know talk on behalf of the party. For going into these elections, is it that the party structure in public relations get for the um, down? No, get for talk now, then the that structure, the, the structure remains the same. The How? structure remains the same. In fact, the, the, under the Constitution, I only have a public relations officer who is elected by the national delegate. Mm -hmm. He's the mouthpiece of the party. This is the campaign. Like I said, an ad hoc committee. Then. They all agree to exist for the purposes of the campaign. Longest they will take is um, maybe this is um, April, May, June. June 24, might have been win the elections. Those committees are gone. Yeah? So the party structure still continues. So this is an ad, ad hoc committee, and they're going to concentrate on the campaign for which the public relations, as an individual, the public relations officer, will also have the opportunity for Kanaya and respond to issues and go to some other places and respond to issues. But who's going to guide and direct that process for the campaign messaging and everything is going to be the Minister of Information, Mohamed Rahman Swari. Now, Cambia also, we see um, pictures, videos of people where they cross carpets um, from, they say them within and then different parties them. Now they don't come over to the Salon People's Party. How the party take them people lately? Well, we welcome them, of course. These are not just um, ordinary people that will be at the party. These are decision makers and their communities will be there in other political parties. We then feel, say, President Bill don't do well for the people of Sierra Leone and Cambia in particular, and the CCA, therefore, join for supporter. Because I don't want to halt 
in the development agenda. No parent, no one let the free quality education stop today. Can be a day on rural electrification right now. Nobody know one for do You give a former councillor, Mr. Jacob, who was a councillor under the APC. Where did he talk? He said Cambia only gets their own part of Cambia when I talk to Limba. They only see the benefit of this country of any development of SLPPD in power. And he gave instances, several instances, and even explained. So we have technical vocational institute now. We get solar system in the road. We get pipe on water with solar. Is it going on there? We want somebody for carry reverse than if we say no, we can only continue for move from that point there. So we are happy to come and assist President Beyond Australia for make sure he's re-elected as president of the Republic of Australia. So those are not ordinary people, those are councillors, executive members, and that's why we welcome them. In terms of the ordinary members, where they come in thousands and droves, where they come, those are supporters, we welcome them, and we can just send a message to them. But when they want to come of authority, they say they are cross-capitating, a worthy for them, we make the public know, a worthy for them, we welcome them, and make, make sure so we appreciate them. Why did the party choose Cambia in particular for Oluna Nek meeting? SLPP, like a national party, we always move around. We had neck meeting in Port Loco, we don't get neck meeting at Kenima, we don't get neck meeting at Cambia, we don't get national delegate conference in Makini, we don't get out of Freetown, we don't get out of Bo, we don't get out of Kenima. So it goes on. Last year, in 2008, what would be the appoint we, in fact, what would be the appoint we, the uh, same committee like this, at some time in 2008, we did it in Port Loco, in the Northeast. So the Northeast is our lucky star. And we came from there in opposition and defeated the APC. So we are launching it back again, come back in the northeast again, for come for come defeat the APC. This time around by 70%. Waiting our president's bill a message. We don't see it on the go round um, na the provinces um, within team. And like we all don't, don't know now, we be the Cambia over the weekend. Waiting a key message to the people that we can go meet. Well, Cambia, of course, now as leader of a party, we perform party function. But the other worker then, like state function, we don't need perform. Going around for monitor and supervise projects then. We don't go ahead for let them implement. And in the process also launching, like the eight uh, ferry crossing point that we'll get at this country. Uh, areas that we don't get, we don't use ferry from creation. We don't see now our camera, they may bridge them. Four of them, we don't approve. One of them are the Manoa Ferry. In the process of passing by, we stopped by in a Manoa Ferry in which you launch them. And the people are very, very much emotional. They say, even the colonial master, they wish man away the Karului. They never dream for do this one. And I can do it. And I know more than the only possible for do it. I don't care with Sefam. So we get several other areas there. So as they move around, they tell the people there. They say, I came, I told you I was going to reposition the Sierra Leone, not the map. I'm going to make Sierra Leone a better place. You see, which is why today, when I seek education, I do want to the best of my ability that, that I see today in the council with the United Nations Security Secretary General for, I mean, the United Nations Secretary General in the World Global Council of Education. When they're ready for choose, when I'm the best minister for education, they choose a minister. I appointed for make sure say I'm doing well. Today, Israel is more respected when you go. Wow. Hey, Mabel. God bless you. Maybe I want to bring me kind of a lot talk. No, I just asked you, I don't know a better place right now. Oh, I feel like a better place for story. Oh, yes. I, oh, yes. I'm right. proud for Sid and I'm Men proud for you. You get the interview there. When I say 19.1, we people that go interview. The one they were one man say, I don't go two years ago. I fly out of an airport two years ago. The one I fly into now, if I better that would be fly for. Right. Is that not an indication? Many thanks. You just give a chance no more. You will see it. Many thanks, we gentlemen. When the campaign same then each, then we can see. Thank you very much. Bring me Kalo Cap. We get issues there. Bring me Kalo sit down with APC. Low argue, low, low argue and discuss the and issues. And not necessarily go for BAPC, but to go for the NGC. discuss the issues when the All time right. comes. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us in the studio this morning. All That's right. Umar Napoleon Kuruma, the Secretary General for the Salem People's Party SLPP. We've been here this morning. They talk about waiting comments at the National Executive Council meeting where the SLPP we all about the weekend. Well, until then, I had this edition of the program Golefuna. Plenty thank you to the production team, Michael Sambola and Alex Lawrence Koroma. Produce the program. DJ came and give you technical support. Usman Kamara and Intime on our live on Facebook. So today we meet again. Mabel Kabade say get yourself a wonderful week and goodbye.